enough is enough. See how these women came out naked over the killing of ex-men in Igbo land. You can imagine an old woman, the social cultural organization known as Indine Igbo, Indine Igbo, sorry, meaning the women of Igbo, has lamented how killer ex-men are wasting the lives of Igbo indigents and also condemning the recent attack on the residents of Enugu and Ebony State, respectively. The group, while calling for more reactive, proactive measures to curb the menace of the parts of the government, stated that many Igbo children have become terrible victims of the attack by those nefarious ex-men. Ndine Ibo, in a statement signed by its president, Mrs. Beatrice Chukubuke, on Saturday disclosed it as concluded plans to march naked around Ibo land to protest the, e the killings and alleged raping of women. The group further called on Nigeria and Ibo leaders to take urgent measures before the whole issue leads to anarchy. Also, the coalition of the Christian leaders in the southeast zone has threatened that it would march to all the government houses in the southeast to show their displeasure on how the government are handling the killings in the zone. The spokesman of the coalition, Pastor Oke, Idika stated that it will be neglected and negligent of duty if the Christian community in the Southeast, if they refuse to register their displeasure on the issue. He vowed to mobilize all men and women of Igbo to show their anger on the killings going on in the zone by suspected killer it's men what do you think that should be done to all these killer it's men because nigerians citizens or should i say some governors are not in support or some people politicians are not in support buhari's administration they have said a lot of things let me just give one example a very big came out to disclose how lazy, incompetent Buhari has ever been since he became the president in, 2015, in 2019. You can imagine what would be the solution to this killing of its men. What are they going to do? Despite the fact they've killed a lot of innocent ones, they are still going scot-free. You can imagine what should we call this? What should we say that the government are trying to do? What? What has? What is their their pre plan for ignoring the cries of innocent citizens that have been kidnapped? You can imagine. Look at it, coming out to 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 to, to, to naked themselves. All because it has got into the extreme. You can imagine, you don't even want to know what um, is will happen to them if they, they are in shame or not. They are conscious, that's where they are out to, to, to do what they, are, they have just done. If Buhari will see reasons with them, but still, even if they are coming out naked, that will never change Buhari's mind. Never, 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 never. So does that mean that perpetual uh, Nigerians are in perpetual bondage? That's what it means. You can imagine. Do, do, does it mean that they should die for the mistake of their forefathers? Not like forefathers. The people that are being that are causing all this are the government. And the uh, Bugari and the Kabals. They are the one um, causing these issues among. Nigerians and uh, its men. 
You can imagine. You can imagine the troubles they are causing Nigerians. The troubles and evil they've done in Nigeria is 97% by killer, headsmen and politicians. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Let the evils, if I were the evils and those that are agitating for um, for presidency, my advice for them is to leave. Let them forget about 2023. Then we forget about 2023 and have our own region. I mean the, the, the Igbo region, Igbo nation. Because this nonsense killing must stop by getting our nature, our nation, is the solution to the problem. They should just forget about 2023 and focus on how this country is going to become a better place. Because I know it's Buhari. <laughs> this country can never move forward. And I think also that everybody should support ESN with everything they have. They should support ESN, they should support Biafran with everything they have so that we can be free from this mess the federal government has put in us to, into. You can imagine. You can imagine. You can imagine Buhari. He has asked legitimate hands licenses to surrender them with the hands. Look at what he said recently that anyone that has been caught with arms or ammunition should be arrested. But how many have been arrested? We are still seeing these so called bandits and uh, Fulani headsmen still carrying these weapons around, shooting and killing. Look at what happened recently in Benin City, in Benin. In the states, X Men um, attacked the people of the people that the people of the uh, states. At not just attacking them, but some were killed by these so-called headsmen. What do they think? What do they, do they really need from Nigerian citizens? What do they need really need from us? What? What are they done to deserve all this? Deserve all this? What have they done? This is unfair. It's unfair to the innocent ones. Look at the ones that are dead now. Will anything bring them back? No. They've just made the lives of their families miserable. You can imagine. Those that are supporting a uh, presidency and refuse to support ESN and B uh, Inam the Khan. They are greedy evils. The evils. They are greedy evils. They don't love themselves. They brought all this upon Nigeria as well. They were supposed to be in power in all areas, but because of their laziness, because of their greed and their coward uh, attitude, because their coward is a, a, a Azikwe, it gave Fulanis this opportunity instead of an evil and also prevents this Yoruba from uh, achieving their power. This is why Nigerians hate evil so much. This is why the Yorubas hate evils. They are so selfish and self-centered. This is why they hate, the Yorubas hate evils and like to join the force with Fulani Etsmen to achieve their political aims in Nigeria because of Zeke. Because of a, 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 a Zeke betrayer. Because he, Zeke betrayed them. Till today, the greedy evils, they refuse to change. They are still collecting money from Fulani to kill their own people. Those that are still doing that are the ones that does not if, that doesn't want the progress, or that don't want Namikano's progress, that doesn't want Namikano to get this freedom, Biafran freedom. But I know that very well. One day, all this mess will be cleared up. So viewers, what is your take on this? Drop every of your comments below the comment box concerning these things that you just just read or you just add click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get notifications whenever we upload new videos thank you